In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the updated script from my blog at markrackley.net that will allow you to place web parts into jQuery UI tabs. Uh, here we are in my SharePoint site. This is a, a site in Office 365, although this script does work with SharePoint 2013 on-premises as well. Uh, in this page, this web part page, we have a zone called the header zone that has two web parts. Uh, one called site assets and the other one called our stock price and our stock price happens to be a SharePoint add-in from the uh, office store we also have another zone called left column which has a few other web parts in it so what we want to do is we want to take the script from my blog and we want to stick it in the header here so that it takes the two web parts that are in the header zone and places those into tabs okay so let's take a quick look at that script here we have the script and you can see it's referencing a few files. It's referencing the jQuery uh, library, jQuery UI library, uh, the jQuery cookie library and what the cookie library does is it remembers which tab you've got selected so when the page reloads it'll reload to the selected tab. We are also referencing kind of the core engine of the script I wrote about in my blog. Uh, this is now referenced via CDN at markrackley.net. You can also copy this local if you want to. And then we have the jQuery UI theme, which determines the colors of the tabs. You can actually create your own themes at jQueryUI.com, uh, or you can use the, the one I'm using here in my examples. We also have a, a div, which is going to actually contain the tabs. And then when the page loads, we've got three different ways of calling the, he, the tabs function to create those tabs. The default method will just take every single web part in the, in the web part zone that you put your content editor web part in and put those web parts into tabs. Uh, you can also specify by using the web parts title which web parts you want to go into a tab and you can also specify uh, if you want multiple web parts to be in the same tab you can do that as well. So we're going to uh, take this script that we have here that's just going to do the default functionality and we're going to go to our SharePoint site and we're going to go to our site assets library and we are going to upload that script so that was in my desktop and that was called way too much clutter on my desktop is what it's called it's called tab3.js so we're going to add that file and we can see it got added tabs3.js so now if we go back to the home page and we edit the page and I'm going to add a web part I'm going to add a media and content content editor web part and I'm going to edit this web part and I am going to over here in the web part properties for the content link I'm going to point it to that file I just uploaded which was site assets tabs 3.js now we're going to apply that and we can see that it added those two web parts automatically into uh, tabs for us so there's the SharePoint add-in in its tab and there's that site assets library in a tab and you can see it did not touch the web parts in the other web part zone. So let's say we want to put these other uh, web parts in this, in this other zone into tabs as well. Well with this new version of the script you can do that as well. However, uh, we need to make one small change to this script. Um, we don't need to reference all of these libraries again because they've already been loaded on the page. So we can simply take those out and we can save this file under a different name, so I'll call this tabs3.1. So now we have an even more simple script called tabs3.1, and we can go back to our site assets library. We can upload that file, tabs3.1, and then go back again to our home page edit the page and now we can add a web part in this other zone the left column zone again we're going to add a media and content content editor
we're going to edit this web part and this time we're going to link it to the other script we uploaded which was site assets tabs 3.1.js we can apply that so now when we stop editing we look at the page we see that we have our header zone with the two web parts and then we have tabs in the left zone for those web parts in the left zone well let's say we only wanted to put the master zip code web part and the tasks web part in the tabs and not the document web parts well we can do that by making uh, using a different method in the tab functionality instead of calling the default functionality we can say specify which web parts we want to appear in the tab and what do we say? We say we want to use the tasks and what was the other one? Master let's go back and look master zip code okay so we'll put in master zip code so now we're only going to put the tasks and master zip code web parts into tabs and not the documents web part so we can save this and we can come back to our site go to site assets upload the document that we just changed so we choose file tabs 3 1 and now when we go back to the home page it'll use that new script so we can see we only have two tabs now tasks and master zip code and there's our documents there right so the last thing I want to show you how to do is to put multiple web parts uh, into one tab let's say we want the tasks and the documents to appear in the same tab so to make that uh, change we'd come back into our script and we'd use this other function here we specify uh, the title for the tab so we want to call the tab we'll just call it stuff and in that tab we're going to put tasks and we're going to put documents right this is a special string that lets it know the first uh, it's going to be separated by a semicolon and a uh, pound sign so you've got stuff the separator tasks and documents the first entry is going to be what appears as the title of the tab and the next entries that could be two three four it could be more are going to be the titles of those web parts you want to be in that tab that we're calling stuff and then we're going to put master zip code in its own tab so let's save this go back to our site go to site contents site assets upload the file we're going to choose that 3 1 again and when we come back to our home page we can see that there's a tab called stuff that has both tasks and documents and then there's the master zip code in another tab so there you go there's the different ways of using the script um, you can now have multiple tabs in the same page and we, we work with add-ins there's a couple other features added so take a look at the blog post for more information and uh, good luck thanks